Morning guys. Hey, you know, if you've never transported, man, you ought to try it. It's really, it's really pretty cool actually. But hey, I just got me a new stock for my Ruger 1022 takedown, so we're going to take a look at it. Going to take a really good look at it, and then we're going to put some rounds through this gun and uh, see how this stock handles. But stock is made by Adaptive Tactical, and it is made in the USA. And this one, of course, is for the Ruger 1022 takedown, but you can also get this stock for the standard uh, Ruger 22 rifle. So what we have here, this one is, as you can see, it's got some red in it. This is called the Lava. And you can also get it in various colors, such as, of course, black. I really like this brown camouflage. You can get it in purple, blue, of course, the Lava here. Now, the reason I went with the Lava and I would have preferred the, the brown camouflage, but these stocks run about $120. I found this red one on clearance for 60 bucks, so I couldn't pass it up. But it's got some red, it's got some brown, it's got some black, and it's got some pink in it. Don't much care for the pink, but you know what? The more I look at this color, the more I like it. So really happy with this stock so far. Now I put it on this gun the other day, took it out and shot it yesterday. That opening where that guy blew up, I shot that yesterday when it was nice and sunny. Today it's cloudy, we've got rain, we've got mud. So hopefully I can get some rounds fired through this today. But uh, let's take a quick look at it. Now the stock is adjustable, just like a, an AR-15. It's got five different stops in it. It's got uh, a four inch adjustment. So you can go all the way from a 10.3 length of pull, and length of pull is the distance from your trigger to the end of the buttstock. So you got 10.3 all the way to 14.3. I'm a big guy, so that 14.3 really comes in handy for me. Very tight lockup on this uh, stock. It does have a little play. Not too much, but uh, you know what? Once you bring the gun in and you pull it in, all that play disappears, so it doesn't bother me. Doesn't affect my accuracy. Do have a spot here in the stock for two Ruger 10 round magazines. I don't have one with me right now, but I did try a 10 round yesterday. They fit in there nice and snug. They are not gonna come out. So bam, you got 20 rounds right there ready to go like the pistol grip on this normally I don't like a pistol grip on a on a rifle but on this one I really like it it feels good it's a nice it's a nice fat pistol grip so if you got medium to big hands you're probably really gonna like that just really feels good in my hand and nice and fat does come with two studs here for a sling course right here um, a sling or a bipod I will most likely put a bipod on this now I'm not going to show you taking this out of the package although it does come in a very nice package as you can see and I'm not going to show you how to install it because on the back of the package it's got very good instructions on how to install it you know if you can if you can load a 1022 magazine, put it in your gun and shoot it, you won't have any problem switching out the stock on a Ruger 1022. A couple things I do want to mention though, if you get one of these stocks, when you put in the, uh, the receiver, it doesn't just go straight down like on a standard stock, on a, a standard Ruger stock. Put it in at an angle, slide it in, and then push it down because it's actually going to lock in back here and then of course put in your mounting screw and that receiver is in there really tight. Same with the barrel. That barrel fits in here very tight. I had to sit there and push it and it barrel finally snapped in so it fits in very tight. Of course put in your, your barrel 
retaining screw here or your, your stock retaining screw and you do have a a clamp right here to clamp in that barrel so you have a very very tight lockup on that barrel I mean there is no movement whatsoever in there so real happy with the lockup on that on, the, on that barrel and this piece right here you can take these two screws out, turn this piece over, remount it, and you have a Picatinny rail, as you can see right here. Now on that rail, of course, you can mount accessories like a flashlight, a laser, a GPS, maybe a coffee pot, whatever you got. Yes, I said coffee pot. I got a warped sense of humor. But anyways, I think I've covered everything on this stock. Easy to install, nice and tight. Um, looks good. I do have a little Bushnell red dot. That is a, a TRS-25. Really like this little dot, or red dot. I've got a couple of them. I've had this little scope in a lot of my videos. You can get them for eighty to hundred dollars, worth every penny. Got a battery life of about three thousand hours. So you know what? Let's just uh, look at it here. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up some targets. I have some Butler Creek twenty-five round magazines. We're going to load up and do some shooting and have a lot of fun. Now, if you're out shooting and you're not having fun, man, you just ain't having fun. I like to have fun when I shoot my videos, so let's do some shooting. Say hello to my little friend. You ready to get shot? <laughs> Too bad. White lightning, exploding targets versus my old buddy. Let's see what happens. Well, that was pretty damn cool. You know, I always pick up my trash. Even my dead zombies.
You know guys, if you're looking for a good stock for your 1022, take a look at the Adaptive Tactical. Really a good solid stock. I really like it. I recommend it. You know, some stocks they feel cheap, flimsy. Not this one. Really do like it. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure you like it for me, please. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you would go to patreon.com, check that out, maybe support me. I would, again, very much appreciate it. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. And we'll see you guys next time. And that's how you do that.